Welcome to the brand new video. In this video, we will discuss about East Timor, which you people generally don't know. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, so you can keep up to date with all our latest content. East Timor is officially known as the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste. It is located in Southeast Asia, on the eastern half of the island of Timor. The country includes the nearby islands of Ataro and Yako, as well as Ekas, an exclave in West Timor. The capital and largest city is Dili. East Timor has a population of around 1.3 million people. The official languages are Tetum and Portuguese. Indonesian and English are also recognized as working languages. The currency used is the United States dollar. East Timor's time zone is UTC 9. The island of Timor has been inhabited for at least 40,000 years. Portuguese explorers arrived in the early 16th century, making East Timor a Portuguese colony by the mid-1500s. East Timor remained a Portuguese colony for over 400 years. In 1975, East Timor declared independence from Portugal. Nine days later, Indonesia invaded East Timor, beginning a 24-year occupation. Indonesia's occupation of East Timor was marked by violence and repression, leading to the deaths of approximately 100,000 to 250,000 people. In 1999, a UN-sponsored referendum resulted in an overwhelming vote for independence from Indonesia. After the vote, pro-Indonesia militias engaged in widespread violence, leading to international intervention. East Timor finally became fully independent on May 20, 2002, making it the first new sovereign state of the 21st century. East Timor is a member of the United Nations and the community of Portuguese language countries. The majority of East Timorese are of Austronesian and Melanesian descent. Catholicism is the predominant religion, with over 97% of the population identifying as Roman Catholic. There are small communities of Protestants, Muslims, and animists in the country. Tetum is the most widely spoken language, with various dialects spoken in different regions. Portuguese, a legacy of colonial rule, is taught in schools and used in government and legal documents. The population is relatively young, with about 60% under the age of 25. Life expectancy is around 70 years. The country has a high fertility rate, with an average of four children per woman. East Timor is a semi-presidential representative democratic republic. The president serves as the head of state, while the prime minister is the head of government. The current president, as of 2024, is José Ramos Horta, a Nobel Peace Prize laureate. The current prime minister, as of 2024, is Tor Madden Ruik. East Timor's parliament is unicameral, known as the national parliament. The country has a multi-party political system. East Timor's constitution was adopted in 2002, following independence. The country's judiciary is based on Portuguese civil law. The police force in East Timor is known as the Policia Nacional de Timor-Leste. The defense force is called the Falantil Forcas de Defesa de Timor-Leste. East Timor's economy is primarily based on agriculture, oil, and natural gas. The country's oil and gas reserves in the Timor Sea are a major source of government revenue. Agriculture employs about 70% of the population, with coffee being the main export crop. Other significant crops include maize, rice, cassava, and coconuts. Despite its oil wealth, East Timor remains one of the poorest countries in Southeast Asia. The country established a petroleum fund to manage revenues from oil and gas production for long-term sustainability. Tourism is a growing sector, with visitors attracted by the country's beaches, coral reefs, and cultural heritage. The government is focused on diversifying the economy to reduce dependence on oil. East Timor is working to improve its infrastructure, including roads, electricity, and telecommunications. East Timor's culture is a mix of indigenous traditions and Portuguese influences. The country's cultural identity is deeply tied to its history of resistance against foreign occupation. Ties weaving, a traditional handwoven textile, is a key element of East Timorese culture and is used in ceremonies and gifts. East Timor celebrates Independence Day on May 20, which marks the day of full sovereignty in 2002. The Roman Catholic Church plays an important role in East Timorese society and culture. 
Music and dance are important parts of cultural expression, with traditional dances performed at community festivals and ceremonies. Football is the most popular sport in East Timor. Other traditional sports include cockfighting and martial arts. The country's cuisine is influenced by both Southeast Asian and Portuguese culinary traditions. With rice, fish, pork, and tropical fruits being staples. The Cristo Rey of Dili, a 27-meter statue of Christ the King, is one of the most iconic landmarks in East Timor. Yako Island, off the eastern tip of Timor, is a pristine, uninhabited island known for its clear waters and coral reefs. Mount Ramalau is the highest peak in East Timor and a popular site for hiking and religious pilgrimages. The capital, Dili, features several historic buildings, including the Government Palace and the Church of the Immaculate Conception. The Resistance Museum in Dili chronicles the country's struggle for independence. The town of Baokao is known for its colonial-era architecture and beautiful coastline. Lake Iralilero, the largest lake in East Timor, is located in the country's eastern region and is a significant ecological site. The country's terrain is rugged and mountainous, with fertile coastal plains. East Timor is home to a rich variety of marine life, including coral reefs, whales, and dolphins. The country's waters are part of the Coral Triangle, a global center of marine biodiversity. Coffee cultivation is practiced in the highlands, with the country's coffee being known for its quality. Deforestation and soil erosion are environmental challenges in East Timor. East Timor is vulnerable to natural disasters, including landslides, floods, and cyclones. Since gaining independence, East Timor has made progress in rebuilding its economy and infrastructure. The country has established partnerships with international organizations and foreign governments for development assistance. Education is free and compulsory for children aged 6 to 15. The government is focused on improving health care, with efforts to reduce infant mortality and combat malnutrition. East Timor's public health care system is still developing, with limited access to specialized services. The country is investing in renewable energy, particularly solar power, to improve energy access. The National University of Timor-Leste, located in Dili, is the country's main institution for higher education. There is a focus on improving literacy rates, especially in rural areas. The government promotes education in the Tetum and Portuguese languages to preserve cultural identity. Vocational training programs are being developed to equip young people with skills for the labor market. East Timor's flag features a red field with a black triangle, a white star, and a yellow arrow, symbolizing the country's struggle for independence and hope for the future. If you want to get more information then comment so that we can give you the upcoming video from the remaining. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall.